Hello everyone. I am here for a little video here. I am recording this directly to YouTube's recording function. And uh, for once it seems to be working out pretty well. Anyway, I should stop. Well, this is actually the first time I've seen my sister drunk and... Um, it's hilarious. I just can't describe it better. It's it's just fucking hilarious. It's like, um, yeah, it's like if you ever seen a drunk person, you know what they are like. But my sister and my dad are similar, but only when my sister's drunk. Oh, that cup is annoying me. Um, my dad normally walks around, he talks a lot, he can't figure out what stuff means um, he just simply can't remember stuff and things annoy him easily I mean if I do like on one side of his house he will hear that from the other side and, sorry I just have to fix my own way there but he he will hear that on the other side of the house and he will instantly just walk over to where it comes from and just be so pissed over it. I don't know what it is, but he just hates it. Anyway, my sister is identical when she's drunk. Yeah, annoying, right? I look like my dad physically. My sister is like my dad mentally when she's drunk. Otherwise, she's like my grandma and that's bad. Really bad. Ooh. Is it just me or do I have large arms? I don't know. Um, anyway, so I'm having a blast here and I'm getting really tired. What the hell's the time? Oh, yeah, it's soon time for me to go to bed. You know, hit the hay. I have to go to the bathroom. Well, uh, anything else I should talk about? Oh yeah, I'm free from school for a couple days now. Um, uh, let me check here. Okay. Uh, May. Yeah. No. Uh, what the hell? Um. Oh snap. It's Saturday? Oh yes. So stupid. Anyway, so tomorrow my sister has her birthday and uh, well, family comes here and two people are always missing. No, I'm dead serious. There's always at least one person missing that either shows up very late into the party or doesn't show up at all. It's pretty annoying actually. You invite them to come over at 6 they show up at 9 and everybody leaves at 10 so it's like yeah it's so boring uh, so yeah we usually have about 4 hour long parties but I remember once uh, my sister's no it was my birthday party it lasted till till 12 o'clock yeah I don't know what the hell happened that night but everybody had so much to talk about that they forgot about time and when one of them finally walked out into the kitchen to take a cup of coffee or to get a refill of coffee for everyone, they were like, "Oh, he." They were like, "Oh snap!" They were like, "Oh snap!" It's twelve o'clock. Crap! I have to go home. Yeah, it was so funny. Yeah, anyway, so we just have about four-hour-long parties, and it's usually pretty mediocre at best. Yeah, usually not that fun. We normally don't do anything. Most, mostly, not all of them just. Everybody but me sits in the living room and talk about random things. I usually just... I remember last year was the first year I actually could enjoy sitting there. No, seriously, I sat in the living room with everyone else and I actually enjoyed it. I don't know how I enjoyed that. Considering we were talking about the weather. The weather. That's what you talk about every day of the year except on your birthday. On your birthday, you talk about what's happened in school and all that sort of stuff. No, nobody was even interested in what happened. 
Actually, I'm kind of relieved that they weren't, because if they don't care, I don't have to answer. And if I don't have to answer, they don't have to know. Simple as that. Yeah, but... Um, holy crap, I have a lot of bass in my voice, but what? This freaking, this freaking microphone hits the top of the scale every fifth fucking second. Ugh. Anyway, so, um... Hmm. Yeah. I am making a soft air gun. Yeah. This is an old hot glue gun. A barrel I've added. I replaced all the guts with a barrel. So for this thing, I don't know why I felt like having this still there. I just felt like having that there. I don't know why I just felt like having it there. Yeah, so I felt like having that there, so I do. Um, here I've added a BB chamber. It's a 2000 BB container. It's a container that can hold up to 2000 BBs. It's like, yeah. My thought about this is um, not a single shot, it's supposed to be a more or less machine gun, hook up a CO2 capsule right here and blowing air and blowing CO2 right in there it should suck the BBs wrong with it um, the, the beauty about that system is you don't need any other holes in the chamber it'll just cause a vacuum in here to fire them all so freaking cool um, so that's what I have planned for this question is does it work? I'm not really so sure about it for one, there can't be any moisture in here, because that would make the BB stick together. So I've already made sure that the BB can fall right through here. Actually, I haven't made sure of that. I'll take care of that tomorrow, maybe, or the day after that. Um, in school right now, I am making a knife, and... Um, um, it's the first knife I've made that's forged. And actually... is. Um, okay and well forged and has had plenty of work gone into it there was my phone doing something weird again I don't know what tells up with this thing, it keeps sending random signals oh I'm going to show you my old, my first forging attempt real quick Yeah, all those jacks in the blade are made afterwards. It's flat on one side. It's almost perfectly flat on this side, actually. And then it's um, all beaten and given a kind of a triangular shape. It's given a triangular blade, more or less, instead of a diamond shape. I, I can't. I just can't get the diamond shape right. I keep, uh, I don't know how to pound it into shape to get the diamond shape, but I do know how to get it a triangular shape. Or to make it a simple, um, long, uh, sharp blade. It's a thin ledged. It doesn't even have a um, bevel from the other side. A flat one, flat side with a single edge on one side. That is what I'm making right now. And I found I figured out that that's a pretty damn good blade. So apparently, it's not the most durable blade. However, the design makes it razor sharp, unlike this thing, which is dull ass shit. It doesn't even leave scratch. Uh, so this blade is about long. It's not a big blade. And add a handle to it, you know, a nice wooden handle. Instead of uh, this chunk of blocky wood. And this looks like something made in Minecraft or something. This looks like something come from mine taken right out of Minecraft. This is more like it. Can't even see. Ooh, it's terrible. Why does everything have to fall over? This is like, yeah, this is more like it. 
still horrible, still shitty, but this is more like it. That's a nice little dip. Ooh. There's a nice little dip there. I don't know why I made that. Probably for looks. Um, it's about the same length. I can actually compare with the other shoulder knife here if I can find it. There it is. Just gonna get out of the fucking box. It's actually. It's only about two millimeters longer, and this was lost just about three millimeters. So it's about a millimeter shorter than a regular knife. So I actually got the blade the same size. Which I personally think is kind of amazing considering I didn't even have a measurement. Uh, I'm going to take this blade to school and refurbish it, reharden it, etc. etc. Or maybe not reharden it, but I'm going to temper it. Uh, give it a, you know, rust coating, anti rust coating, polish it up. Run it against the polisher, give it a nice blue edge. Um, yeah, this is an old knife I've had laying around for years now. Uh, years and years. Actually, it is years. This is the only knife I've actually had for several years, and I can actually say about it, say that about it, because this knife I've had since I was like, I don't know how how you know. So I was like, what? I was like 10 at the time when uh, when we lost this knife up in the forest. We were making something there and we lost it. And a few years later, come back, find it. I think it was like 13 at the time. Went back up there and I actually found a rusty old knife laying there and I noticed it was mom's old knife. And you want to know what's funny? I'm a brony. And I really like. Princess Luna. Yeah, that Princess Luna. I also like Nightmare Moon, which is of course Luna. Uh, which is actually Luna in uh, in the insane form. And uh, this Life has something very, very special written on it. Or oh, written and written, molded onto it. You can't see it, but it says Luna right on the handle. Yeah, it says Luna. I'm actually going to um, get rid of all the gunk that's somewhere that I'm stuck to the side around it, and then I'm going to highlight the letters with the paint. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna paint around the uh, letters, paint the black around the letters, and paint them white. Luna. I don't know what it is, but I like that name. Uh, so I thought it was really cool when I found it, and I, I started liking my little pony about a year back. So uh, I was like, yeah, and when I saw. Now when I noticed this knife had named Luna written on it, that was about, um, I don't know, maybe a month back I noticed that, so I was like, whoa, this holds some potential. So I started cleaning this thing up, it was covered in all sorts of gunk, and ugh, I was going to reshape it, I've actually reshaped uh, the guard here. Bit. I have uh, removed quite a bit of the gunk on it. So quite a bit of work to be done. I'm using a shitty ass knife for this. I don't know why. I'm using a sharp ass blade for this. I'll just take this little thing. It's more or less like a razor. Anyway, so um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Uh, I think I'll do quite a few videos like this from now on. So, the um, question is, can I change my camera so it uses software instead? Oh, by the way, that caused a humming in the background. That's my computer making that sound. I was thinking, if I could change that, 
that means it could just play Minecraft like this. So I'm gonna try that right now actually. Um just give me a second. Wait, wait, wait. Uh just gotta wrap this up here first. So yeah, this is a project in work. Loot the the Luna blade. I gotta refurbish the gotta refurbish the blade itself. Um uh, to-do list. Gotta refurbish the blade, making it razor sharp again, removing all the nicks and, nicks and dings, uh, give it a nice new tip, uh, polish up the handle with some sandpaper, uh, highlighting the letters. I'm gonna have to do this in school though. Highlighting the letters. Maybe I should give... Oh, that's an awesome idea! I should give it Luna's cutie mark on it. I should add Luna's cutie mark to it. I think we can do that at home, actually. It's gonna look pretty shitty, but I should engrave that on the blade, actually. I have tools to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna engrave a cutie mark on the blade. So anyway, uh, that's it. Luna's knife. The knife of Luna. Now I'm progress. So, see you when I see it.